Hey guys, Bill Simitel here from the BBZ TV. Special day today, May 19th, Armed Forces Day. We're up here at Diamond Valley Lake in conjunction with the Elsinore Bass Club and National Bass West. We're putting on the Wounded Warrior event. And I made it just in time because we're getting ready to start weighing in. At this tournament, we have almost 200 vets that are coming in with the armed services. We have 100 guys out there taking them fishing. We're gonna have some unbelievable raffle prizes. We're gonna see who the big winner is of the tournament and we're just gonna have a great time. So this is for you guys. Um, it's my honor to be here because you guys have done so much for us and uh, we hope you have a great day. Welcome everybody to uh, Diamond Valley Lake. This is the fifth annual Lake Elsinore Bass Club Warrior Tournament. Um, we've been doing this along with Lake Elsinore for five years. It's a pure joy for us to see all the warriors come out here participating with the generous anglers. Today we have 88 teams that are fishing. 88 anglers came together today and invited the warriors to join with them on the boat. So it's a way for the anglers to give back to the men and women who have served our country um, honorably. And uh, they're super excited. The blast off this morning was fantastic. Listening to the national anthem, it really gives another perspective to uh, the country and the meaning of the national anthem. So stay tuned. We're going to have the weigh-in here coming up quick. And can't wait to see who weighs in the big bass. You got to check out what Lake Elsinore Bass Club does. They do valet parking for all the vets up here for the Wounded Warrior event. Hey guys, this is really crazy down here at the lawn tramp at Diamond Valley, the Lake Elsinore Bass Club. It's sitting here. We have over a hundred boats coming in and they got them uh, pretty much off the water in less than the hour. Each truck, they have a, a number parked, uh, marked on the back of the truck for the, uh, for the boat number. Valet parking and all the guys from the Lake Elsinore Bass Club are coming down and pulling the uh, vets off the water. Unbelievable teamwork uh, that they're putting on right now. I'd like to thank everybody for participating in our fifth annual OEFOIF Warrior Bass Fishing Tournament. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay, real quick. Um, we're going to do something here kind of a little bit out of the ordinary real quick. Julianne, could you come up here for me, please? This young lady for the past four years has coordinated every service member coming to this. Yeah. In case you didn't know, this is Staff Sergeant Juliana Mercer, and I first met her about three weeks before the very first event started. I received some sad news that said that Camp Pendleton would not be able to support the bass fishing tournament. I received a call from Mike, called Juliana, and she said, fishing? Hell yeah, we're doing it. Within three weeks, we had enough people to fill the first bass fishing tournament. And every year it has grown. So today, we were over 200 and actually had not enough boats. I think that's a pretty awesome, incredible thing that Juliana has helped to create. And Juliana, we'd like to present you with a few items. First of all, another certificate for your wall <laughs> from the Warrior Foundation. You said fishing, hell yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. I got a good friend of mine who, uh, how many people know Bill Simatel? Bill put together this complete tackle pack. It's a custom painted Spro six inch bait. I mean, he's donated from Spro, Wolverine, Wiley X, Peregrine 250, Maximal Line, 
Lambic Glass Drop Shot Special. never looked so good in my entire life. <laughs> that is one sharp looking shirt. We're gonna frame that and put it out there. Oh, that's so awesome. Hi, I'm Sandy, the president of Freedom Station. Freedom Station for Heroes. It's a hand up and not a hand out. And basically what we are asking is we are trying to buy this location to keep Freedom Station open for our active duty warriors they can begin to transition back into the amazing citizens we know they're going to be. We're asking for your help. We want to purchase this place and in the next year and a half, go to freedomstation.org and help us purchase Freedom Station for our special local warriors. 